Hi, I'm uh, Professor Fiona Wood. I'm the Director of the Burn Service in Western Australia, and I'm also the Director of the Burn Injury Research Unit. So for many decades now, I've really focused on driving innovation from the research into the clinical practice. So all that sort of understanding that tomorrow we need to do better. And that starts today by learning from what we're doing today. So really that clinical excellence sort of agenda. All the cells started a long time ago and I was on the original board uh, giving the guys a hand because I'd just come off the back of all the learnings from Avita Medical which was initially clinical cell culture and so more recently as uh, all the cells really looked more broadly uh, beyond uh, the cartilage and bone into soft tissues then it sort of moved into my sort of arena again and so I'm very pleased to be back in this adult and helping. Nerve regeneration is a really fascinating area. Uh, I, my first publication in the 80s was around uh, plasticity in the nerves within the skin. And certainly at this point in time, we're working on understanding how the central nervous system links with the regenerating nerves within the skin. So the nerve whole nerve regeneration piece is sits very closely in what I'm interested in uh, understanding uh, so that we could drive a better outcome and so the traditional way of suturing a nerve has a, a, a can deliver a, an outcome that is certainly obviously better than not uh, surgically repairing it but it is technically difficult and not so reliable in certain areas particularly as you get closer and closer to the spinal cord and so looking at this uh, technology that can facilitate an ed the next level of advancement in that space is really interesting to me because you've got to get the nerve repaired but then you've got to understand the, how you get it actually into the end organ. And obviously skin is my bag, whether it be into the muscle or, uh, or the, the, the skin is, it's kind of makes, makes the challenge of retraining and re and animating uh, one that's I think fascinating. And it, it puts us in a position where we can actually drive that harder because the nerves are repaired more expediently with less trauma and more completely. Alex O'Brien is a, 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 a a surgeon who does a lot of brachial plexus and really quite complex neural, neural repair and seeing it work in that space was like that was like whoa there's something different here. So for me the patient stories was the the really interesting things like well if that's happening in that person, how can we make it happen more reliably, more routinely? And like I say, just drive that excellence agenda. I think from my perspective as a, as a surgeon uh, coming into this sort of world of producing a, a medical device that then in order to uh, get it into people's hands requires a, th a process of commercialization. I understand absolute, with absolute clarity that it needs a lot of skill sets at the table. And I'm not, a, I, I don't have that sort of education in that regard, but I've had the experience of working alongside uh, those folks over a long period of time. And in order to make something commercially successful you've got to be able to make a difference clearly this makes a difference so the sort of two things go hand in hand but n not everything that's fantastic gets out there and so we do rely on this the knowledge and the skill sets of that whole commercial path uh, sort of pipeline and and i think it's it's really interesting to me because it isn't straightforward and every health system is different even within the us right which is the biggest uh, on the planet you You've got the private, you've got the, uh, the the ones that are under, like the Shriners units I, I, I connect with and research with uh, are a not-for-profit. You know, so they've got all these different systems and how does the, the, the user get paid for the activity? Oh, right at that coal face, all the way back into the production of the device and then the research that backs that up has steps and you miss one, you fall over. And so the FDA, of course, travels along that 
uh, in that sort of parallel universe and you have to keep butting up against it to get that right so that you can get to the next step. But understanding the regulations, the governance, the remuneration, you know, and it's all really as important, paradoxically, as understand the clinical indication. If you haven't got a good, solid clinical indication with a really good outcome, then you're not going to start the journey. But having that doesn't actually guarantee you'll get to the end. And so understanding who you need to have part of, as part of your team is really important. All the South, I think, has been fantastic because it's it's really battened down the hatches, got uh, some very, very good products based on very, very solid science, and then has realized right now, how do we get to that next, uh, to that global uh, space? But how do we do so from Western Australia? And I think that's what really interests me is maintaining the manufacturing capability right here so with that level of control is fantastic. But that's only good if you've got those sort of tentacles of reach into the various different markets. And so having people who really understand the business frameworks, who really understand the psyche in the US, for example, is so important. And of course, our links uh, with the experts in the US, uh, very, very important, linking them with our, the experts here in Australia. So it, it's, it's building uh, on the good solid foundation, but with the realization that they need more to come in to build and go the next step. So I think it's a really exciting time for AuthorCell and they've done very well to keep, get this far and keep this such a strong anchorage into Western Australia. When you start to ask the question, well, should you invest or should you not invest? That's a very personal thing. You've got to look and make the decision based on what you see and how you feel that suits your investment agenda. Yeah. And medtech absolutely is long, hard, but when it works, it, it's very special for the patients for the researchers and for the companies. So I think supporting um, our medtech and therefore AuthorCell is really important uh, so that we can, as I say, uh, as a community, have a seat at the table internationally.